Hello, Snackers. This is Kareem Iskander. I'm a lead technical advocate with Cisco Learning and Certifications. Hey, everyone. I'm Matt DiNapoli. I'm a manager of developer advocacy with Cisco DevNet. Welcome to a special episode of Snack Minute. Snack Minute is your weekly 10-minute bite of learning covering tech, coding, and some cool stuff we think you might like to know. We talked about this. We came back from Amsterdam and we, talk, we talked with Par, a few snackers, if you remember, about the evolution of learning. And we talked about this little thing called Cisco U. Are you excited, man? All right. All right. Yeah, I'm really excited. Do you mind if I poke around a little bit? Yeah, go for it. What are you going to, I mean, I can guess probably what you're going to look. <laughs> um, well, we'll just head to the site here and see what happens. Um, all right. Usisco.com. Okay. All right. For you. Uh, so I'm at, uh, asking some questions. Let's see. What am I good at? Um, all right. I'm good at everything. So I'll just check all this stuff. No, I'll just. Uh, so you're looking, you're here. looking at this tailored experience that we have within Cisco U. This is the first thing that you get into when you first log into Cisco U. We learn a little bit about you. Um, you probably don't know everything, Matt. Otherwise, you wouldn't be on this platform. Uh, but you know, <laughs> just answer, <laughs> just answer your level, and this is this is a way for us to basically take that information and provide you with topics and content based on what you told us you're interested in. Oh, cool. Um, I said I'm advanced. I think I can say that, right? I don't know. Um, um, let's say DevNet expert. Um, your nose, your nose is getting bigger there. <laughs> All right. Uh, let's see here. Uh, cool. And then now that I've done that, um, you know, the thing that I've always been interested in is just from our old, old DevNet days and, um, you know, what's new to people is really how do we get started and frankly, um, you know, let's see what you guys got around automation um, for network engineering here. Let's see here. <laughs> Good right, choice. So I see a learning path. Oh, this so one. So do you know cool. what a learning That's path is? Cisco. Um, I don't, but I'm going to click into it. Uh, what I presume is is a curated set of content that builds upon itself until we hit a uh, culmination of of learning. Uh, would I be right in that? You're so smart. <laughs> See, I told you I was advanced. <laughs> um, so, okay, so I'm seeing here, understanding set where Cisco Network Automation Essentials. Okay, we're getting a little bit of an introduction here. That's cool. Oh, okay, so on the right here, I see the whole learning path. Okay, so Network Automation Fundamentals, 8 hours and 40 minutes. Network Automation Tooling and Security, 7 hours and 20 minutes. And then Infrastructure Automation and Use Cases, 12 hours and 40 minutes. So... What we got here is about, um, you know, half a week's worth of content, um, if this was the only thing I was doing that week. Um, and it's all kind of laid out for me. And it makes sense um, the way that we have this laid out. I'm going to click into the Network Automation Fundamentals section and see what's going on here. Okay. Um, so what you clicked on right now, Matt, is what is our tracks. So the way that if you look at our learning path, you know, learning path are divided by tracks. Each track is a combination of a specific topic. And within every single track, we have courses for you. And so okay. courses, every track starts with a pre-assessment and a post-assessment. This way, we, we tailor that content based on what you told us you know from your pre-assessment. And then we allow you to actually get uh, CE credit by completing completing these post assessments, and that's how you can say I'm I can get recertified in Dev Associate, for instance, by completing the post assessment. So it looks like uh -huh. you're going through a pre assessment here. Question: This will tell us exactly like, hey, what is your level? So we'll actually get to see if you're advanced or not. Right, right, right here, right now. Oh goodness gracious! This is this is a stressful thing, answering questions. Way to put yourself on the spot, people. <laughs> um, <laughs> I'll just answer one or two questions. I don't think anyone wants to see me actually take a test. Uh, which type of automation use case is appropriate if you need to shut down an interface when errors are found on the interface? Um, hmm. I would think configuration management is probably a good answer. Let's see what else is is on here. Um, uh, if it's yeah, I think I'm going to do event-driven network automation because it's based on the fact that the errors are found, but I don't know if that's right or not, um, and we'll just assume that it is. So I'm not going to go through okay. and do the whole lab, so so we'll close that out. But that's really cool because then um, I can go through these 20 questions. 
um, and figure out, um, or uh, yeah, 18, are there 18? 18, 18 questions here and figure questions. out like what I need to kind of focus on. And I guess, do you guys do this because, um, because uh, the, people don't necessarily need to, um, don't need to go through the whole track or is it, it to help tailor their learning? Yeah, exactly. And that you're spot on. I think it's, 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 it's all of the above. It's for, for us to tailor the track for us to, you know, to, to assess where you are from a knowledge perspective and, um, and for us to suggest which ones you should be going through from a, from a content perspective on a, in that specific track. Okay, cool. And then we go into, so the track, and then I'm guessing this is a module. Introdu let's say this is introduction to APIs. That would be a module as part of this. Uh, this would be okay. the course, and then the course has different has uh, different lessons okay. within them. So okay, you're looking course, at the course track, right now. Course lessons. Okay. Right, and so within every course, and and this is what's this is to me is is one of the high points and selling points for Cisco U is. Um, you and I know that it's super hard to find hardware and and to to test your knowledge on on real environments, right? And so part of these learning paths that we have, you actually have access to um, labs, and so you can learn and then you can put it in practice. And so we we provide all of that for you um, as part of that experience. So I'm okay, sure you so can see, see here on the right hand side, Matt. You see on the courses, after you clicked into a course, you see the different icons. It tells you if you see a flask, that's a lab. And you can run that lab live in your within your environment. It looks like right. you're initializing one. So I'm initializing a lab right now. Um, you know, I walk through, I can see the, now if I click out of the lab, will it still continue initializing it? Yeah, it will. It will it will go on the side and it will wait for you. It will tell you that it's been completed. You can continue learning at this point if you like. Okay. And once it's completed, and I see it'll you tell guys you. have, yeah, I see you guys have an awesome mix of video with um, text and, um, you know, that's always a great way for people to kind of choose the way that they learn. Um, those things are always super helpful. And I'm sure within those things you get context. Oh, and there's content review questions as well. This is great. Um, yeah, we want to make sure that, you know, you didn't just skip through and you've been paying attention and we want to make sure that we deliver the knowledge that, you know, this entire module is supposed to deliver for you. And if it doesn't, know, then you're not answering properly. And <laughs> I know the answer to that question. Let's see, which class is used to manage session based authentication? Uh, that's a really good question. I don't actually know that answer. Um... Maybe you should take the course. Yeah, maybe I should. Is there a request? Yeesh. And the other thing, Matt, that no, I also wanted session. to mention as you're doing all of this um, is for our snackers out there, you know, if you're in, if you're looking, if you're watching this episode today and you're, you know, you're going into u.cisco.com and you're, you're getting into, um, you're signing up for an account, it's all free. But not only this, this actual specific network automation course is also free. Hey, it's me. Um, it is you. <laughs> uh, this network automation course itself is actually uh, free. Uh, most learning path within uh, Cisco U require a subscription, but on release, we're allowing you to take this learning path for free, and we're allowing you to get CE credits for you to to use towards your research. So, I think that's pretty awesome. Yeah, that is great. Um, you know, the, one of the hardest things once you've <laughs> once you've gotten over the hump of getting your certification is then maintaining that certification. I'll be honest, as of today, uh, when we're recording this, I am now not uh, certified anymore um, because I no didn't way. go to I, Cisco. You didn't exist, <laughs> and so unfortunately, so, so um, this is I what can't. you do when I see you at Cisco Live Vegas. You should totally go and get one of the free certification exams um, and just do it and so to get to get certified again we might as so well. instead instead of going to Cirque du Soleil you're telling me to take a test <laughs> <laughs> yeah exactly uh okay I guess <laughs> <laughs> um now I'm in a lab um 
and so maybe what I'll do is I'll prepare for my exam through using these, uh, but we'll do um, what the, the task is asking me to do and pop in there. And it looks like we have a fully um, open environment arranged for us. Um, and we can actually look at our files and poke around and do things and follow along and all that fun stuff. And so I see where I can, yeah, I see where I can kind of poke around, um, poke around these. And you guys, depending on the lab, you have predefined lab files and, you know, they tie into the content. I mean, this is awesome. Um, you know, it's really cool that you guys have a full engaged environment in the browser um, that allows people to poke around and not necessarily have to, um, you know, install anything. You know, everything is kind of set up for them um, so that they can do the work within the browser itself and not have to, oh, I'm looking at this and now I got to go over to my computer and now I got to cut back in and oh, I've lost my place. Oh, now where, what's going on? I've gotten this all out of control. Um, it's all right next to it. And the really cool part I have to say is that you guys have these really cool menu bars uh, that open and close these bits. Um, sometimes that's a challenge too, is, is just getting the space to work. Um, yeah, this looks fantastic. Um, I can't say enough about the experience so far. Obviously, I'm, you know, my first seven minutes of being in here, but, um, you know, this looks great. And let, so let's see here. What else we got here? Um, we're going to end my lab. We got introduction to APIs. You know, the thing that I'm noticing, Cream, is um, this is my first experience. I'm kind of poking through it while talking. I'm not having any trouble navigating. Um, I'm able to, to get around. I'm able to get back where I need to go. I have to say, from a design standpoint, you guys have done an excellent job. Um, Thank you. You know, getting people in and out of where they want to go, finding where things are. I know just having been part of these things for years, you know, the, the experience itself and just like, what do I click to go back? That is that is a hard thing to solve. Um, and I can see you it guys really have, have solved a lot of those things because I'm intuitively figuring out exactly where I need to go and everything I can click on. And it looked like I can bookmark this for my learning um, right there. And then I'm guessing that if I go to my dashboard, it should show up there. It will show uh, up there. And as part of okay. your learning, if you bookmark it, and then it'll keep track of your, it'll keep track of your progress. It will tell you how much you've spent uh, learning. Um, we're we're coming to there's a there's a point where you can start selling setting goals for yourself that we'll have in there, so you can get reminders and saying like I want to complete my dev my DevNet associate within you know I don't know a month, right? So we'll. Will, uh, goal setting will be part of this. And I think in one of the Snack Minute episodes, Kate covered um, talking about, about goal settings and my dashboard and how that's going to be a, a, a crucial part of the experience that you get within Cisco U. That's fantastic. Uh, you know, you guys now saw that I, I did expire, <laughs> my specialist, my professional. Um, but uh, that's okay. Uh, Kareem is challenging me to take a test. Um, and I see all of this. I mean, I just got started. It tells me what's in progress, um, where my focus is, my focus has been. Um, I can see where, you know, I keeps track of my learning. Um, I, you know, ultimately, I, we're probably getting close to time, but I'll, I really have to say congratulations. Um, you know, this is a great experience. Um, at first glance, I, you know, obviously, I'm going to poke around more and I'll give you feedback behind the scenes. Uh, but, uh, you know, Congratulations on getting this out the door. Uh, you know, I know how much work um, Cisco U and learning and certifications have put into it, and um, it really looks fantastic. Thanks, Matt. Yeah, the team the team has done an awesome job putting all of this together. There's so many players to to get this experience out, but um, we're definitely proud of it. Snackers, I want you to go out to u.cisco.com. Check this out. Um, start your network automation path, you know, you got nothing to lose and then play around with the content that's uh, the other content that's around there. You know, you don't have to take a learning path. There's plenty of content from podcasts, especially our tutorials. You know, if you're looking to spend 10, 15 minutes to 30 minutes to learn one topic, go check out these tutorials. There's a lot of different topics out there, including everything that you need in order for these tutorials to run and we'll walk you through it. So check them out. Um, we'll provide 
your feedback. We'd love to hear um, any um, specific topics that you want us to cover that's on Cisco U and you want us to talk about. So leave us a comment below and uh, we'll make sure to cover it on our next episode. Thank you, Snackers. <laughs>